The headlines came rolling in after South Africa halted its rollout of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Initial reports claimed the vaccine had diminished efficacy in curtailing the effects and transmissibility of the COVID-19 variant first identified in South Africa. The jab, though, remains a major constituent of COVAX's arsenal, with the hope of 350 million doses of the vaccine being distributed worldwide in the first six months of 2021. The World Health Organization, the WHO, and the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, have both stated firmly their stance on the issue of the vaccine's efficacy. It's not true that the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, showed the significant reduction for the variants. No, this is not correct. The words of PAHO's assistant director, Dr. Harbas Barbosa. The main chink in the armor came as a study of 2,000 people showed the jab was only 22% effective at preventing mild to moderate disease in those with the variant. Just Wednesday this week, SAGE, the strategic advisory group of experts on immunization, has advised the vaccine should still be rolled out. But why? Dr. Mike Ryan, head of WHO's Health Emergencies Program, clearly reminds no vaccine is currently 100% effective. The efficacy of vaccines, he says, is tied to their ability to prevent severe cases of any illness. The primary job of vaccines right now is to reduce hospitalizations and death. And right now, the, the data on, I think, all of the vaccines and all of the situations, that they're working to do that. We may need second and third generation vaccines to do more. Uh, we may need better vaccines to do more than just stop deaths and stop hospitalizations. But right now, we have the tools to stop both by adequate control of the disease at community level and by the use of vaccines to protect the most vulnerable and our frontline health workers. For ABS News, I'm Ursula Charles, Jr.